Hey for Thread, happy Wednesday. Here we are. Um, we are going to continue talking about 13 colonies today. So yesterday um, we talked about Native Americans and how they were being treated by people that were living in the 13 colonies um, and even how they're even treated today. We talked about some reservations. Okay, so if you did not do yesterday's activity first, you need to make sure that that is done. Um, and then we'll move on for today. So now we have to ask this question. We talked about how poorly the Native Americans were being treated. Why were the colonists okay with how the Native Americans were treated? Why were they okay with this? How they were treating those Native Americans so poorly? All right, so we're going to talk a little bit about that today. Today's will just take a couple minutes here, um, but it is important for us to get working on this. Okay, so um, the first thing we need to ask ourselves is, what was a colonist? Okay, so follow along with me, please. I want you to type this as well. So someone who lived in the 13 colonies. Okay, that's what a colonist is. It's just somebody who lives in the 13 colonies. Okay, so when I say colony, or excuse me, when I say colonist, or you say colonist, we're just talking about um, the people that lived inside of the 13 colonies. Okay, now what I want us to do is I want us to add a picture over here of the 13 colonies. So I'm gonna go up here to insert, go down to image, I'll search the web. 13 colonies. A couple different ideas here for you to pick. Um, I will pick this one. I like the colors of this one. I lied. I guess I can't pick that one. So I will pick. Let's oh. go with about this purple one here. Cool. Okay, so 13 colonies there. Um, so every time that we say the word colonist, we're talking about somebody who lives in the 13 colonies here. Okay. All right. Um, once you have added a picture and you've put the definition for colonists, we're going to move on to the next slide. Okay. So we're going to talk about this thing today that you were going to learn about today. And then you're actually going to stop talking about it for a couple of years. And you'll talk about it again in middle school and high school. Okay. But I do want to talk about it a little bit today because it does kind of explain why the colonists were so rude and so terrible to these, um, to the Native Americans, um, and why they were okay with it. Okay, and that thing that we're going to talk about today is called manifest destiny. Okay, uh, manifest is kind of a tricky word, um, but the word destiny you may have heard of it before. Destiny is something that means um, it is something that is um, supposed to happen to you. Right. You might see like in a romantic movie, um, somebody gets married to somebody and they say, well, it was destiny. You were always meant to marry that person. Or um, I watched a movie one time with Michael Jordan and they said um, he his destiny was to become an NBA basketball player. Right. This is what he was meant for. OK, so um, when we talk about manifest destiny when we talk about history when we talk about our country in the United States. Um, really what that means is it means that. Um, this land that we live on now, the United States, back way back when it was the 13 colonies, um, it was meant for us. Okay, It was given to us, and anybody who was on it needed to get out of the way. Okay, so we're going to talk about what was Manifest Destiny. I want you to copy this down with me. Manifest Destiny was uh, the idea that... Um, English people were guaranteed. That's not how you spell guarantee. Guaranteed this new land from God. Okay. Maybe you're somebody who knows about God. Maybe you're somebody who does not. Maybe you believe in God. Maybe um, you're somebody who is not sure or you don't. That's not really the most important thing. What's important is that the English people. The people that decided to create the 13 colonies, who eventually created the United States, where we live today, um, when they were kind of traveling to this area in North America, they believed that all of this land here was theirs for the taking. God gave it to them, that God had promised them this land, and anybody who was in their way, it was their right to do whatever they had to do to get them out of there. All right, so we talked about how yesterday Native Americans died from disease. They were enslaved. They were killed. 
Um, they were forced to live on tiny little plots of land where today we call them reservations. Um, really why the, re the reason why English people did that at the time was not because they were mean and because they were evil. They did it because they truly believed that God had given them that land. When they were born on this earth, their goal in life, they were destined to live here. Even though Native Americans lived there first, it didn't matter. It was theirs to take. Okay? Now, today we can look back in 2021 and say, that's terrible. That's evil. Why would anybody think that? This is their land. Why would they think that they needed to take it? Um, and a lot of people say maybe it was an excuse. Maybe they knew that it was a bad thing to do, but they wanted to use God as kind of a, um, a reason or an excuse because a lot of people, you know, respect religion. Um, and so people may have been a little bit scared to say no. Um, but either way, this is what Manifest Destiny is. Um, and that's why I'm going to zoom in here. So I'm going to start here with the 13 colonies, show you this map. This should look pretty familiar. We just looked at this map on the last slide. Um, here are the 13 colonies. This is where the English people decided to make their little colonies. Um, this is it. Okay. Over a couple hundred years, um, the colonies kept moving west and west and west and west all the way until they reached the Pacific Ocean. And now over here on the Pacific Ocean, we see like California, Oregon, Washington. If we look here is Minnesota, where we live today. Um, and so the English people, they kept on pushing and pushing and pushing all the Native Americans away, away, away. Um, and the reason that they did that, the excuse they used was because, hey, you see all this land that we don't have yet? You see all those Native Americans who are there? Get them out of there because this is ours. God promised it to us. It is our destiny to have it. Okay. So here's what the 13 colonies looked like. Um, back in the 16 and 1700s, um, about 250 years ago. And then I will show you what it looks like today. This should look familiar. This is the United States of America. Okay, so I'll show you here. Here's the 13 colonies. We can see a couple um, things like New York colony, Pennsylvania, Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia. Those colonies became states. Zoom in one more time. There we go. Okay, so here's Georgia, like we just said, South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia, uh, Pennsylvania, New York, Connecticut, Massachusetts, New Hampshire. These were all colonies where English people lived, and they kept on pushing and uh, taking up all this land here, and now we call them the United States of America. Okay, so um, English people pretty much claimed this entire um, land here, which today we call the United States, because they believed that God promised it to them even though Native Americans lived here first, and they were killed, and they were enslaved, and they were pushed out of their land um, because of it. Okay, now I know it's been two days in a row we've been talking about something kind of heavy, something that's not super fun to talk about. Um, we will start talking about tomorrow. We will start talking about these 13 colonies. We're going to be doing a little project, and we're going to be trying to do a little project with a partner. Okay, now this is going to be tough. I know it's a challenging thing to do, but we're going to give it a try. Okay, so um, we'll look forward to that for tomorrow. Okay, anything that you need any help on with today on the slides or anything from yesterday, um, please visit um, office hours with me at 10.05. Otherwise, um, any questions, please let me know. Oh, sorry, one last thing um, before you go. Um, I have this video here. Let me zoom out. Have this video here. Um, it's kind of a fun video to watch. It kind of explains more about Native Americans and the English people, how they interacted and what it was like um, when they saw each other. Watch this. It is a little bit longer on the longer end, um, but it's kind of fun to watch. Um, once you're done with this video here, you are good to go with logging out for today, as long as you have the work done from yesterday as well. All right. Any questions, please let me know.